Hey guys, how's it going? In today's video, Foster Jeep Dog Chase is going to help me install a Valvetronic exhaust valve controller on my 2022 Audi R8. Let's go ahead and get started. The actual installation is fairly straightforward. We're just going to plug this harness from Valvetronic Designs in between the factory exhaust valve solenoid and the OEM connection. You also want to make sure and get a good ground on this wire here. The time consuming portion is going to be accessing these connectors. To my knowledge, the easiest way to do this on a Gen 2 R8 is to remove the passenger rear wheel and the wheel liner. So let's go ahead and get started. Now that we have the rear passenger wheel removed, we can work on removing the wheel liner. There's various bits of hardware holding this in place including these T25 Torx bolts all the way around. We also have some 10 millimeter plastic nuts and at least one pop rivet. Now you definitely don't want to lose these, so I recommend putting uh, the hardware in a cup or some kind of uh, container so you don't misplace it. Just a quick note to help you remember where everything goes. These thicker T25 Torx bolts, there will be three of these with the blue thread locker on them. They're gonna be going in the upper portion of the rear quarter panel here, holding the wheel liner to it. So all of your skinny ones will go in the lower portions uh, of the rear bumper and the side here. With all the hardware removed, we should be able to wiggle the wheel liner free. With the wheel liner removed, you now see we have very easy access to the connector right here. You can technically go up through the engine bay, but it is a very long reach and it's just much easier to get at it through the wheel liner. 
Now, depending on what year your R8 is, it may, this whole setup may look a little bit different, but it's going to be the rightmost connector, this one right here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna unplug this, we're gonna hook in our new Valvetronic Designs harness, and I'm gonna ground that little grounding strap right here on this bolt. To remove this connector, just take a flathead screwdriver, put it right here on the tab, and give it a little bit of pressure back while you pull on the connector. It'll come right out. We're gonna take our harness, plug it in. It'll only go one way. Same for the other side. And then, like I mentioned, with a T30 Torx, I'm going to place my ground right here. And you don't need to torque this to death, but we do want it nice and snug so you don't lose that ground. And now, you just wanna zip tie your cables up so they're not flapping around, and we can get to reinstalling the wheel liner. With the wheel liner back in place, we can work on reinstalling all the hardware in the opposite order that we removed it. With all the hardware back in place, we can put the wheel back on. And that's pretty much it. Only thing left to do, take your remote and give it a test run. Sit, fall, fall, hey, fall, 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 there it is.